another one of my comic book presentations. Um, a few comments before we get into the into the actual show. A number of years ago, I did a review of the ABC sci-fi classic, The Invaders, starring Roy Thinnes as architect Dave Vincent, and the show debuted in 1967, and it ran for two seasons. There were many tie-ins, including a Whitman hardcover book, a big little book, um, three paperback books as well, and a short-run comic series that was produced by Gold Key Comics. I had seen photos of the comic book covers, but never had actually had a chance to read one. Well, recently I came across issue number four online, and it, it was surprisingly good considering it was published by Gold Key. The story is titled The Doomsday Window, and it hit the stands in October of 1968. In 67, I was 12 years old, and... Uh, hysterically afraid of UFOs and aliens. This show, despite my dad and mom's objections, became my favorite, second only to Dark Shadows. Each week after the show, I went to bed totally terrified. But let's talk about Wolke Comics for a bit. First, I'm grateful for those uh, who were in control because they did a lot of TV and movie adaptations that would not have been done by some of the other major comic groups. Now, as mentioned, um, a bit ago, my favorite TV show, or shows were uh, Dark Shadows, which ran on uh, ABC TV also, and from 1966 to April 2nd, 1971, it actually ended its run on my birthday. And the Gold Key comic version ran for many years after the show was canceled, which was pretty cool. But there were, there were uh, drawbacks, though. There were only a handful of stories that could be called good in that particular series, the Dark Shadows comic series. The depiction of the main characters was horrid, and that's putting it lightly. And that's one of my main complaints about Gold Key. The main characters did not much resemble the actors who played them, you know, in their original roles. And actually, the invaders fared a little bit better, but just a little bit. In a few of the panels in this issue, uh, David Vincent actually resembled Roy Thinnes. A reoccurring character in the TV series uh, was Edgar Scoville, played by Kent Smith and the artist's depiction of Smith was generally quite good. And the TV series was class from the get-go as it was produced by Quinn Martin, who also gave us the wildly popular The Fugitive, and the, the series was created by uh, Larry Cohen. A Gold Key uh, Comics go, as Gold Key Comics go, excuse me, the series from what I have seen is superior to most. Now, a viewer sent me a comment on a review that I did of the Invaders a number of years ago, but just sent the comment to me the other day, as to why they, uh, the Invaders uh, went up in flames, so to speak, when they were, uh, when they died. And his theory was, and it makes sense to me, that they had a self-destruct mechanism, and uh, life was not quite so, um, oh, what's the word, quite so um, respected, if you will as it is among the humans, and they could, uh, they could do away with one of their own or themselves to protect the secrets of their invasion. So his, uh, his comments were a little bit better than what I just said, but basically that they self-destructed, and it, it kind of makes sense. Now, um, just a few comments on the other stories in the program. First is a story called Transformation which appeared in Carlton Comics Space Adventures in July of 1953. And I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give away the ending of the story, though it may be obvious to, uh, to some of you. It is a story ahead of its time by more than just a few decades, to be sure, and I'm sure raised a few eyebrows of parents and educators at the time. And I would, I would love to hear your comments on this story, so please, please share them. And then I decided to bring up the end of the show on, a, on something fun, a little bit juvenile story, but it's from Space, My, Space Mouse Comics, excuse me, published by Avon in the early 1950s, and it ran for only five issues. So I hope that you'll enjoy the program. I hope that you'll leave some comments for me. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Those mean a lot to me. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy.